Okay, guys, some weird stuff has been happening in my room, and I feel like I need to document this. Safi B has a collection of haunted dolls that seem to have been moving on their own. She explains how no one can be going inside to move them because she keeps her door locked during the day, and after she's finished, she hears this noise. Now, I haven't told you guys this, but like lately I've been hearing my door rattle, and it's like. The movement is not coming from the door, but rather from somewhere deeper within the room, which she has clearly shown to be empty, except for her and her dolls, and soon she finds her answer. No. No, no. A solid black Ouija pointer falls off the shelf and lands. Okay, we're out here fishing off lawn. Oh my god, it's gonna hit the boat. There it is, right down there, mate. That's the reaction of two fishermen as an unidentified shark heads towards their boat for a closer look. It passes by them three times before getting way too close for comfort. This is when the two friends finally decide to make a retreat. Oh my god. Oh, oh, alright. Oh, shit. Oh, sh <laughs> alright. Alright, let's go. Is there anyone? Oh my god. That this is, in all likelihood, just a great white shark, but other people are saying it's too big to be a great white and that the markings are slightly different. In their opinion, this could just be a fledging megalodon shark that was recently born. Let me know if you agree with them or if you think this was a great white. Predator Combat Drone is conducting a routine patrol when suddenly something huge and fast enters its airspace. What appears to be some kind of unidentified flying object streaks by the drone. In a gigantic burst of white light, the drone turns around to scan the area, but whatever zoomed past is now long gone. Unfortunately, no further footage was recovered. I don't know if the lack of information surrounding this video is a sign that it's fake, or it means the military simply isn't saying anything. The unidentified flying object could be CGI, but outside of that possibility, what you are watching could very well be our first contact with very technologically advanced extraterrestrials. There's nothing more terrifying than what you cannot see. Posted to the oddly terrifying subreddit, this scary video shows a drive along a highway at around 5.30 at night in December of 2021. After a moment, a storm bursts into view via multiple lightning strikes. And then on the horizon, you see it, a black funnel twisting ahead. The tornado appears to be straight on in the direction this car is driving. As the lightning continues to flash, the twister is moving off to the left and growing larger as the car approaches it. Many in the comments are wondering why the car continues to drive toward it. Notice the raindrops on the windshield. They're moving horizontally toward the twister. When this happens, as Redditor Ballpen Dodger notes, you're too close. And when you're facing a tornado like this, that is the last place you'd want to be. Asking you shall receive. Posted to the Paranormal Evidence subreddit, Paranormal Popcorn writes that his friend Jason sent him this scary video. The video shows a digital clock. It's 557. Jason says he was awoken by a loud noise, so he entered the living room and found an overhanging light fixture swinging wildly back and forth. He says they haven't had an earthquake as far as he knows. He explains that an old hutch in the room once showed reflections in the glass, whereas the door of the hutch was locked in place, it was found hanging open. He shows that a couple of other overhanging lights are not swinging, only this one by the hutch is. He explains that this happened once before, and so he believes he has an entity on his hands. He starts addressing his girlfriend's departed grandmother who owned the hutch. Her name was Manny. He asks the entity if she has a message for him or would like to communicate. He asks the entity to move something or make a noise to signal that she's there. Though out of frame, an old chair slides loudly on its own. 
please uh, move something and let me know that you're here. He asks again and the chair slides a second time. Or give me a sign that it's you. That would mean a lot. He checks beneath the table and nothing is there. While Jason certainly seems calm, though bewildered, he probably shouldn't be interacting with the spirit. As Redditor Christian Sands writes in the comments, If this is real, I would tell your friend to stop immediately asking the entity to move things. It's like an open invitation to a long-term relationship. Would you like a long-term relationship with this ghost? Yeah, me neither. Sometimes it's better to be blissfully ignorant. Published by Nurk7 to the Ghost subreddit. The girls in this video heard a bump in the night, so they soon head down into the basement to investigate. When they arrive there, another thud clunks in the darkness, and as they nope right out of there, a whining sound groans as they run up the stairs. <laughs> While well, some note that their reaction seems genuine, Noob Vin again pops into this thread. The Redditor who offered a rational explanation to the ring doorbell entry footage to drop some more practicality, saying the sound seems more like a hinge or some other artificial noise. While well, this whining sound might be explained away, what of the obvious thud? Is there a ghost dropping a bowling ball down here? The ghost in this old house is leaving nothing to the imagination. YouTuber Dennis from Dark Life captures the ghostly mist out of the corner of his eye. Watch the top left closely. Using a spirit box, Dennis receives some creepy messages from a spirit here named Paul. Later, Dennis feels Paul's presence all around him. Pavel, you still here? What was that? It sounded to me like terminal respiratory secretions. If it is, Dennis had better hope that it doesn't catch up to him. A group of friends are roaming around an old English house that's rumored to be quite haunted. Unlike most of the other videos on this list, they are able to get upstairs and quickly start opening every door they can find. Then they come across one door in particular that they swear they've already opened before. Oh, what the f I swear that door's open. That door's actually a I studied this video for a while, and I can say that this door was definitely open before. When they open the door here at 11 minutes 27 seconds, you can see a circuit box with a yellow sticker in the bottom corner of the room. You can briefly see the same circuit box here at 8 minutes 14 seconds. This means that the door was definitely open just 3 minutes earlier. They aren't sure what to make of this discovery and decide to run away. Maybe they were faking surprise. Or maybe one of the friends closed the door as a prank, but something tells me that this was probably paranormal. Let me know if you agree. Pipitello Soul Shorts shares this scary video, whose original source is unknown. Although we don't have context, we can assume this group is touring a haunted place when something unexpected happens. Oh, 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 I don't know. There's no clip on there now, bro. That one drop kicked my soul from my body. Although the clip is short and we don't see what causes this mayhem, I think it's safe to say whatever it is is out to cause fear. Would you take something that turned you into a zombie? Please don't do it because it's a horrible idea. In October of 2017, a number of sightings were reported in Brazil in which humans were behaving monstrously, with some running their heads into windshields and others flailing their arms and screaming nonsense as if they were possessed. This video clip shows what a nightmare this can be. 
Love you. He pounds the windshield as well before taking a running start at it with his head. With his arms outstretched, the boy screams into the ethers while one guy outside holds an arm out, seemingly trying to calm him. The boy continues to scream in place before trying to smash his way into the bus again. This goes on for several minutes. Whatever this man has taken to be acting this way, just remember, it's never a good idea to do the same. A man makes his way down the street without any clue as to the danger that's about to come straight his way. Everything looks as ordinary as possible. Just another day on Stoke Newington High Street in London. There's no possible way you can predict what's going to happen next in this video. It's way too random. So even if you can tell me what direction the thread is about to come from, then I will be satisfied. He makes it past this cafe at 10 seconds, and literally one second later the entire roof comes tumbling down in a choking cloud of dust and jagged debris. Bricks litter the street just a few steps from where he just was. If he had done anything besides walk on by, like tying his shoes or looking in the window, then he would have been struck down on the spot with no hope of surviving. I mean, it really couldn't get any closer. The heel of his foot is literally still in the shot as the bricks begin to tumble. Only a psychic could have ever guessed the way this video ends. Ever tried to poke a thread through the eye of a needle? Well, that's basically what bus drivers do on Needles Highway in South Dakota. This video is not for the claustrophobic. Highway 87 near Rapid City, South Dakota, and Custer State Park earned its nickname due to its narrow, single lane roads. Deadly, defying twists and turns, and of course, the needles, which are narrow, granite tunnels that vehicles navigate. That is, if their drivers have got the guts. The tunnels were created by blasting through mountains, forming walls of sheer rock on either side. Believe it or not, some buses attempt the crazy feat of driving their big hauls through the narrow tunnels. These drivers show no fear as they prepare to undertake a Mission Impossible level task of weaving down this dangerous road while also looking out for falling rocks. Just watching makes you hold your breath in anticipation. But never fear, slowly but surely. This particular driver succeeded with only inches of room to spare on either side of the tunnel. A perfectly normal eyeball is about to almost pop, and you'll never guess how. Don't try this. Ronnie Tasleem pulls his lower lid as far down as it will go. His eye turns a nasty shade of red as he looks up, and with three fingers slowly presses the lower section out of the socket. With his eyeball bulging halfway out, he rolls his upper lip back like a shirt sleeve to reveal the full eye, and you'll never guess what happens from there. The entire eye is an angry red at this point, but instead of bursting and rolling down his cheek like I thought it would, the eye somehow turns normal looking again at 1 minute and 40 seconds. Ronnie is somehow able to alleviate the intense pressure, causing his eye to fill with red fluid and stuffs it back into its socket before any lasting damage is done. My question aside from how he is able to do this to begin with is how many more times does he have left before his poor eye gives out and gushes all over the camera? Is this a werewolf, a cryptid, or something else? Redditor Twist of Fate 666 shares this creepy video of a mysterious creature in the darkness. Watch closely and tell me what you think. I think I'd run for the hills if I saw this in my backyard, but Redditors have many different takes. It looks like a demon at this angle, but still others think it's something natural. Thank you. 
is this an elephant or a four-legged stilt Halloween costume, as some Redditors are suggesting? Or like the uploader thinks, could this be a werewolf? There are so many options that I feel I'm leaving this guessing game with more questions than answers. A YouTuber named D-Dog Vlogs has been uploading since mid-2016 and specializes in exploring haunted places that are about as scary as they come, with a preference for historic locations whenever possible. He has been known to pair up with the likes of Mo Sarji and others in an effort to push his paranormal investigations to greater lengths and solidify his place in the YouTube ghost hunting community. On January 20th of 2020, he heads to a single-story home that is rumored too old secrets so terrible that no one in the community wanted to share any details aside from a basic address. Curious, he heads to the site with fellow ghost hunters, Tay and Carlo, to see for themselves what this house holds. The first thing they notice is a glowing yellow light that flickers oddly over a door that's bolted shut. It's one of the only working lights left in the house, and it's shining like a beacon to get their attention. But look at that room. That's creepy. But more on that in a moment. For now, watch how the camera goes out of focus like something or someone invisible is standing right in front of them. It happens again here at exactly three minutes and ironically goes on until he's finished asking people to comment if they see anything. Now, I don't know if these places are haunted or not, so comment down below if you guys see or hear anything. I'm not saying they're haunted, I'm just not sure. After some more exploring, they return to this mysterious locked door and see marks where it had been repeatedly drilled shut with a padlock. Something incredibly strong must have been in here at one point, and the family must have been intent on keeping it contained. Yet when they open the door, they are surprised to find a colorful race car border above. This is a kid's room of all places. They suspect that a child was locked in here for long periods of time, and I think the evidence evidence proves that much is true. Perhaps they were even kept here well into adulthood, might I add. Furthermore, they seem to think this section of the door was either struck or clawed out over time, possibly after an extended period of isolation, which would require immense strength. I think it could simply be termite damage, but you tell me. So I want to know why you think the child was locked in here. It could have been evil parents or behavioral problems. The extent to which they had to go in order to keep the child contained seems to indicate an extreme psychological state that would require them to be on alert at all times. Their child probably needed to be kept away from sharp objects and locked in at night so that they don't do something drastic to themselves or to their parents while they slept. On the contrary, maybe that's not the case at all, and the child had evil, disturbed parents who did this for no reason. D-Dog explores a different abandoned house two months later on March 28th, and this investigation gets so crazy that I need your help to figure out if it's real. Is this red paint, or is it what I think it is? I really hope not. So much. At 2 minutes and 10 seconds, it kind of looks like somebody got jabbed in the corner, stumbled a few steps forward to the center of the room, and then went to the doorway. Then they doubled back, still leaking, and probably crumpled in this corner where the trail ends. Or maybe that's where they were put by someone else. Tiny red splotches leading upstairs gives me the impression that more than one person was here. This red substance has dried against the wall and hardly looks reassuring. And sadly, in the corner of this upstairs room is more evidence. But creepiest of all, even more so than what's on the wall or on the floor, is what's in this small, unassuming corner or rather what happens when they go near. This is the only part of the video that becomes blurry, and for no reason at all. It's as if something is trying to get their attention, and perhaps figuring out for the first time that it is crossed onto the other side and can no longer communicate with the living. Now you're probably wondering where the homeowners were, and so was I. But with a basement flooded with solid ice, I think we both know the answer. What should have been a fun day at the zoo quickly becomes a nightmarish scenario. When a child named Timmy finds himself wedged in the folds of an elephant statue by the leg. Timmy's leg is stuck in the elephant under elephant. First, the YouTubers try to handle the situation themselves without any help. Move this leg. It just gets stuck even more. There. Soon, zoo officials notice the commotion and try their best to assist. When that fails, Timmy knows the situation is getting serious. 
A team of rescue workers arrive almost 20 minutes into the whole ordeal. By now, Timmy is distressed and I feel pretty bad for him. I also don't see any signs warning to stay off of this elephant statue. So if anything happens to him, the zoo could be in a lot of trouble. Eventually, they are able to pry the trunk up long enough to remove the scared child and spare the statue. Timmy now has to go to the hospital to get checked on, but as far as I know, everything is okay with his leg in the long run. I'm curious to find out if you think the zoo should be held responsible for the hospital bills based on what you've seen. This house is supposedly haunted, and the family room reportedly has the most activity out of anywhere. As you can see in this close-up shot, there is nothing out of the ordinary about this mirror at all. But once the paranormal investigation is underway, a woman's colorless face appears in the upper left quadrant. She is staring directly at the camera with two black holes for eyes her thin lips and nose clearly visible. As far as I can see, there is nothing in the room that could cast such a strangely vivid reflection. A driver in Singapore thinks they have a clear lane ahead when something to the right startles them badly enough to make them lay on their horn. The pale outline of a woman appears to be perfectly balanced on the center divider. While this could just be a person trying to cross a busy road, the driver is convinced that they've seen a ghost. Even if this is a person and not a spirit, I really don't know why they would choose to cross this section of the road. Aside from heavy traffic, there's really nothing but a tall hill on the other side and no discernible buildings of any kind. Don't do it! He's moving! He's moving! A YouTuber named Tristan R is trapped in a tunnel when he sees his worst fear creep across his visor, a spider. There's nowhere to pull over, so now he has to keep one eye on the spider to make sure it doesn't land on him, and one eye on the road to make sure he doesn't cause a pile up. He finally is able to get out and pull his visor down to show us a spider was in fact dangling over his lap by a thread this whole time. It might not look like much to most of you, but for anyone who has a major fear of spiders, it's large enough. He pulls away thinking that he's seen the last of them, but I wouldn't be surprised if there are hundreds more inside. Polar19 posted this video of her beagle in 2008. She wrote, This is my six month old beagle, Lewis who started barking and growling at something in the kitchen, mostly focusing on the open cupboard. He has been known to wake up in the middle of the night, barking and growling at something unseen. The YouTuber says that Louise won't calm down until she lets the dog patrol the house. In the video, the dog is barking towards the pantry. He walks further into the kitchen and starts howling. Backing up again, he howls and growls at the pantry. He walks forward again, still howling and sniffing the ground. He just keeps at it, backing up, walking forward, barking, growling and howling until the video ends. YouTube commenters note that the dog's hair is standing on end and the guttural sounds the dog is making are usually a warning. What could he possibly seen in the darkened pantry that we don't? Whatever it is must be well hidden, as you can hear something growl back at the dog at 45 seconds into the video. So there must be something there. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.